a big topic, Lee. It's the alpha male. Do you want to bring us in? And, and yes, I do. Look at this, everybody. Well, this is quite an interesting little article because there we have the uh, cricketer himself, Mr. Shane Warne. There he is. And it says here, the alpha male makes a return. And this story is actually connected um, to Liz Hurley. And uh, apparently, you know, she's been seen canoodling with Mr. Warren. Now, what is interesting about this is that, you know, the Renaissance man, which is the term that people have given, you know, guys who are very much more proactive in the home, they're very much more proactive around their children, they're very much more domesticated than before. And it was, in, at one stage, something that was extremely fashionable. Women wanted men to be connecting on that emotional level, on that spiritual level, and putting their tuppence halfpenny worth in, in terms of domestic responsibilities. But it seems that the coin has flipped and girls and women want that sort of more testosterone driven kind of alpha male coming you know swooping in coming riding in on his charger to scoop us up and carry us off into the sunset and i think that you know to be perfectly fair i think that we as a generation we've been brought up on that fairy story kind of princess prince type of archetypes and I remember doing a blog about uh, a year ago about the the fairy tale archetypes I think I'll probably bring that in next week but it's a bit like me saying that sometimes we can be an Alice in Wonderland or we can be the Sleeping Beauty or we can be the Rapunzel and we really really want these guys to just take charge don't we yeah. and yet when they do and they kind of have this a uh, sense of almost inflexibility about them and they kind of do that kind of thing and they stand firm we get a little bit mm, like that so we can't have the best of both worlds girls you know yeah. we can't you know that's the that's the stuff of hollywood legend but certainly a man's man and i have to say I put my hand up. My partner is absolutely like that. And I wouldn't really be able to relate to someone who didn't have that sense of self, who, who didn't have a strong ego. And I'm not talking about arrogance. I'm talking about strong self-awareness and someone who's comfortable in their skin, but who can at times take charge. Because don't forget, I'm a little princess, as my mother always tells me. <laughs> and I do want a bit of rescuing now and again. There is something sexy, I think, about a, 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 like somebody who uh, has that confidence. I think re really, whether, whether you're a man or a woman, I yeah. think having that confidence is very, very attractive, and it does make a massive difference. I mean, it there's does. a...